We're going to turn now to the mystery COVID-19 symptoms that doctors are sounding the alarm about as they see a growing number of patients with skin problems. They're calling it COVID toes. And Dr. Jen Ashton joins us with more on this. And Doc, we're seeing several manifestations of the coronavirus that are really surprising doctors. But let's start with what we're calling they're calling COVID toes. What is that about? Well, well, Michael, this is under the dermatologic or skin manifestations category and some early reports in the medical literature suggesting that it could be as high as 20%. That's based on reports out of Italy. But take a look at these images for an idea of the range or spectrum that we could possibly see in patients with COVID on their skin. You can see everything from bruising to discoloration, ulceration, rashes, hives. The list goes on and on. Um, you can see in some cases a net-like pattern that typically affects the trunk. Um, in the toes or fingers, you could see things that almost look like frostbite. Sometimes there's a change in the skin texture. Sometimes this is associated with discomfort or pain. There are theories about this, you guys, which is that dermatologists have long since known that when people get viral infections, they can have skin manifestations, but these are definitely atypical and they're getting a lot of attention from our dermatology colleagues. And if somebody sees this type of rash on their body, well, how concerned should they be? Well, I think in the absence of any other symptom, they should follow it. You know, everyone has a phone with a camera feature on it, so that's a great use for that. You want to take daily pictures. If it's a rash, what we do in the hospitals, we literally take a pen and mark the borders so we can see if it's progressing. Dermatologists now are doing more telemedicine consults than ever. Um, there are apps where you can get a dermatologist's opinion on things, but certainly if you get any other symptom of COVID, a fever, anything else, you definitely want to seek some medical attention. And Dr. Jen, we're also hearing about abnormal blood clotting, specifically, or at least most notably, in the case of that Broadway star, Nick Cordero, who had his right leg amputated as a result of COVID-19. What can you tell us about that? Well, Amy, actually the abnormal clotting pattern that we're seeing in some critically ill patients with COVID may actually be related to these skin manifestations, but we're seeing these microscopic blood clots in arteries, veins, um, that definitely affects blood flow and oxygen delivery to all parts of the body. And that's what we saw with that tragic case. Yeah, it's certainly so sad, but doctors are learning more and more every day. Dr. Jen, thank you. And I gotta always. say thank you to Dr. Jen, because yeah. not only do you do everything here, she does everything on Instagram as well to keep you informed. So, Doc, thank you for everything you're doing here on, on air with us and then on Instagram as well. We appreciate it. Thank you, Dr. Jen. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.